So now we are going to learn about countable and uncountable nouns. Now countable as the name suggests, we can count them. For example, pens. We can count 1, 2, 3, 4 and it's done. Okay. But some are very hard to count or they cannot be counted. For example, water. Water in an ocean or a river. Abhi aap ek ek drop ke to you can't see or you can't count how many drops of water is there. So we can't count that. Hair, we can't count hair. Um, oil, anything liquid, we can't count. So these are all examples of uncountable. Very difficult to count them. Let's see. So the countable ones would be pens, tables, chairs, whereas uncountable would be hair, tea, water. Okay. Now if we can't count the uncountable noun, then how do we tell the other person how much do we need? For that, we have a secret mechanism. Now what do we do? We can't um, count water but we can put it in the bottle and we can say a bottle of water. So water is uncountable. We can't count but we can say a bottle of water. So when you are sitting in a restaurant and uh, you ask the waiter, get water. That's wrong. He can't get you water. You have to take, actually specifically tell him, do you want, get me a bottle of water or you can say, get me a glass of water. Okay. Now, the same way we have tea. We can't count tea. What do we do? When we want to measure, we say, can you get me a cup of tea? A cup of tea. So next time, when you go to someone's place or you know, someone, some guest comes to your house, you don't ask, do you want tea? You can ask, do you want a cup of tea? Or would you like some cup? Do you, would you like a cup of tea? Next, um, sugar. Sugar is so tiny, it's tiny, you know, with it's tiny little particles or here and there. It's very difficult to count sugar, right? But if I want sugar, what do I say? I will actually tell them a tablespoon of sugar. That is how I will measure. See how tiny they are, very difficult to count. So I will say a teaspoon of sugar. Same way, coffee, a bag of coffee or you can say a sachet of coffee. Usually it comes in a bottle, in a glass bottle. So we say a jar of coffee. Chocolate. Chocolate also we can't count because it's liquid. We have to, you know, the companies, they put it in a freezer and then they give. So what they give is basically a a bar of chocolate. So next time when you go, you ask them, can I have a bar of chocolate? Rather than saying, can I have chocolate? A bar of chocolate or Two bars of chocolate if you if you like chocolate that much. Next, uh, <coughs> we 
this is a newspaper a newspaper we can count it it's a countable but what we see inside is news and news every second there is a new news so news is uncountable news is uncountable okay so for that you can just say a piece of news 